welcome back to another great video with me Simone guys today I'm doing a where are they now Philadelphia Eagles first round pick edition for the last 10 years okay so I'm so excited to take a peer down memory lane of Eagles memory lane and let me take y'all back man and I think after going through the where are they now we have um two guys who I feel like have the biggest surprises we would have never guessed where they are now um, everybody else pretty satisfied I mean and a couple of guys obviously beyond satisfied with the way that the Eagles have been drafted over the last 10 years so guys stick around and let's get into the video make sure you go ahead and like comment and subscribe and if you are new here go ahead and let me know what you want to see in my next videos okay so let's get right into the video so guys, I'm thinking we should start in reverse order. I was like, should we start with 2020 or 2010? Then we're gonna start with 2010 just so we can start back and head this way. So 2010, drafted number 13. Overall, the Philadelphia Eagles selected Brandon Graham, a defensive end out of Michigan. I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with Brad, where Brandon Graham is right now. He's still eating for us and he is breaking some of his records for the Philadelphia Eagles. So guys, when I'm reading off some of these accomplishments, some of these stats and some of these awards of where these guys are now, I am not including the 2020 season, the season that we are in the middle end of right now. I'm going up until the 2019, 2020 season, just because we're in the middle of the season right now. So let's get into Brandon Graham. Obviously, Brandon Graham has yet to make a Pro Bowl. And we guys, we in Philly Nation are really campaigning for Brandon Graham to make a Pro Bowl this year because he has been eating. And Brandon Graham has definitely been making several of Pro Football, Foco, Pro Football Focus's, um, you know, Team of the Week um, awards just for the way he has been a savage on the defensive front for us this year. Um, from 2010 to 2019, he has recorded 52 sacks. 18 forced fumbles and 349 total tackles and obviously Brandon Graham was on our Super Bowl championship team so our 2010 number one pick Brandon Graham we are satisfied with that pick now let's move on to 2011 is a guy that brought a lot of questions for the Philadelphia Eagles okay we're talking about Danny Watkins where the heck is Danny now you probably would never guess where Danny Watkins is now Danny Watkins was selected number 23 overall a guard out from Baylor 2011 um Danny Watkins he was obviously heavily scouted um in that draft class and a lot of people saw a lot of potential in um Danny Watkins obviously he was offensive lineman drafted in the first round um he had a lot of high potential, but a lot of, you know, personnel um, were saying his head wasn't really in the game. And obviously his head was somewhere else. Um, after two years, he spent two years with the Eagles. He retired after his third year in the league. The Eagles um, got rid of him after the second year because they said that he wasn't invested in the team. Um, also, the Eagles, pretty sure they said that they spotted him on the local news in a firefighter uniform. I know they was like, what the heck? This guy hasn't been practiced. But yes, Danny Watkins, he had another passion off the field. And his passion was firefighting. I mean, he had to build for it. Um, you know, I feel like the football guys, who they're the most athletic big guys. Um, they built like firemen. So I guess Danny Watkins always saw himself as a fireman. And he ended up retiring from the league and joining the firefighting force. I know nobody saw that coming. And I know the Eagles are like, what the heck? We drafted a firefighter? We drafted, we spent a first round pick on a firefighter. I mean, you would have never been able to guess that. Nobody would have ever been able to guess that. So that's not really a knock on the Eagles um, drafting ability. They said he was his head was never in the game during practice. He never seen best in the team. So just glad to see that Danny's doing, you know, what he wants. I mean, if he did pan out to be a great guard in the league, we really could use him right now. But I'm just glad Danny is doing what he loves. So that's where Danny is now. So um 2010 2011 we got one guy who is um breaking personal records in brandon graham another guy who is not interested in playing the national football league so i say we one for two right there 2012 we got one of our favorite 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 eagles as of late fletcher 
Cox, a defensive tackle out of Mississippi. He was drafted number 12 overall by the Philadelphia Eagles, guys. Need I say more about Fletcher Cox? We made up for that Danny Watkins kind of fumble with um, Fletcher Cox, and we... Mm, we love to see the army crawl, y'all. We already know what Fletcher Cox is doing. Basically, our hero, okay? Fletcher Cox is a five-time Pro Bowler, a Super Bowl champ. He also made the 2010 All-Decade Team and 2010's All-Decade Team. He recently won that award. Um, and obviously, Fletcher Cox is still doing his darn thing in 2020. The guy is looking like an ageless wonder. We love seeing him racking up them sacks. So we picked a dime, I feel like, in Fletcher Cox, of course. Um, um, number one overall so 2010 we got um brandon graham we flopped a little bit with danny just because he didn't really want to be in the league but then we made it up big time with fletcher cox those are two guys that are anchoring our defensive line right now so we did good there now let's move on to 2013 2013 guys number four overall we picked tackle lane johnson lane johnson who is still doing the work for us today so we picked another gym in the first round in lane johnson we picked him number four overall out of oklahoma lane is obviously a super bowl champion for us three-time pro bowler first team all pro he he is battling some injuries late in his career, but that's what all guys do. But Lane Johnson is definitely a veteran on that offensive line, and he is really showing these young guys what it do. You know what I'm saying? And Lane is still playing for the Eagles to this day, 2020, and he is still showing out and proving to be a valuable piece. So that is another guy that we picked out that is still part of our Eagles core to this day. Now, in 2014, we did have another mystery guy that we drafted. In 2014, we picked Marcus Smith in the first round, okay? Marcus Smith was picked number 26 overall, a linebacker out of Louisville. You guys know we don't really go linebacker that much, so we obviously saw a lot in Marcus Smith. First round pick, Marcus Smith was another guy that... Yeah, I would he had a lot of off the field issues and he really battled with anxiety and depression throughout his time in the league. Um so obviously when he was with the Eagles, um they didn't really see all they didn't get to see the the potential that they saw from him when they drafted him. So Marcus Smith it um, hasn't played in the league since 2018. Um, he played two games with Washington before he retired. Um, we obviously traded down for him in the draft um, after we didn't get some guys that we wanted. He got cut before the 2017 season by the Eagles um, right before our Super Bowl um, run in 2017. So it was, it was kind of, you know, eh, Marcus got cut right before we won our Super Bowl. Um, in 37 games, he only had four sacks. Um, he did a short stint in Seattle, but he retired in Washington. But yes, he battled anxiety and depression. And he actually had a suicide attempt while he was in Seattle. But on the bright side of things, Marcus Smith is reportedly happy and healthy and married um, with kids and happily family man now. So where is he now? He's happy and he's doing his own thing. So it's good to know that he made it over his mental um, health issues. And we know that mental health is something that the NFL is very vocal about now in supporting these guys and you know making sure they're not only physically healthy but mentally there as well so it's great to see that Marcus Smith is feeling much better and he's supposedly you know really recovered from his anxiety and depression so that's a guy that the Eagles didn't really get to see you know the potential in um, once he hit the field for Philadelphia um, but like I said, those are things you cannot predict when you are drafting guys in the league. That is something that you cannot predict. Predict You can't predict a guy is going to want to be a firefighter um, after a year. And you can't predict that a guy's mental health is going to go, you know, through some rough patches and rough episodes. So let's move on to the next guy. In 2015, we drafted Nelson Aguilar. You guys already, I already know what you guys are thinking when I say Nelson Aguilar. Um, Nelson Aguilar was drafted in the first round by the Philadelphia Eagles. He was drafted number 20 overall out of um, USC. So, 
Nelson Aguilar already know we have a hate hate relationship for Nelson Nelson had his best years um, for the Philadelphia Eagles in 2017 um, he averaged 12 point yards per reception on 62 receptions he had eight touchdowns and a 56.4 first down percentage and Nelson Aguilar is with the Las Vegas Raiders right now because he obviously did not want to be a Philadelphia Eagles guys he was dropping balls <clears throat> Nelson, we had a hate-hate relationship in Philly uh, for Nelson. Nelson just did not want to be there. He was just dropping balls left and right. And I'm going to insert some pictures and some gifts of just Nelson. Like, it's one thing if a guy sits out for money. Like, if one thing if you sit out. But if you're on the field, you need to be there. You need to be ready to play. You need to be ready to compete. If you're on the field, don't be a detriment to the team. If you want to sit out for money, then sit out. But once you're in the game, once you're suited up, you need to be playing to win. And I honestly don't even know how Nelson ended up in Las Vegas after seeing what he did with the Eagles. Like, he had a terrible season for us last season. But now he's with the Las Vegas Raiders, and he is about to break his 2017 um, record. So, whatever, Nelson. Have fun in Las Vegas in your new stadium. Whatever. Like, bye. 2016, you guys already know what's up. What happened in 2016? We drafted our guy, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles, a quarterback. He was drafted number two overall out of North Dakota State. Now, Carson Wentz came out super hot and super five for the Philadelphia Eagles. Like, he had the Wentz train. He had the Wentz wagon. Wentz Wednesday. We were standing Wentz. He was on the MVP caliber season in 2017 before he got injured. In 2017, he had a 101 quarterback rating. He had 33 touchdowns to seven interceptions and only five fumbles. Um, yeah, he came out super hot. Everybody was on the Wentz wagons, the Wentz train. Um, but he just hasn't been able to stay healthy, and that's not a knock on him. These Nobody really can stay healthy in the NFL, but he's never been there in the biggest games where the Eagles needed him. And now, in, as of late, obviously, um, Carson Wentz, he hasn't had the best weapons around him um, for the Philadelphia Eagles. And he definitely got a Super Bowl ring in 2017, but Nick Foles was, you know, at the helm and, you know, signal calling for the Eagles as Carson Wentz was on the sideline. But he did lead the um, Eagles to a Super Bowl run in the 2017 season um Carson Wentz is in a slump right now like I said I'm not really going to talk about the 2020 season because we're in the middle of the season but I will just say he is in a slump right now so where is he now in a slump <laughs> 2017 we drafted Derek Barnett another defensive guy Derek Barnett is a defensive end out of Tennessee he was drafted number 14 overall um he did have to miss some games due to injury in 2018 but in 2017 through 2019 he posted 14 sacks he had 82 total tackles and three forced fumbles so Derek Barnett is holding down the defensive line um, for the Eagles right now. We are interested to see what his further development is going to be. He definitely has a lot of potential. We definitely need to see some more out of Derek Barnett and just kind of see he is a new, I mean, he is a younger guy, so we definitely have a lot of opportunity to see him really show out. And he is on a defensive line that has a lot of um, hungry talent. Like I said, he's playing right alongside Fletcher Cox, who is pretty much a hero of the Eagles defense. So we we'll definitely look out to see what Derrick Barnett makes out of his career in Philadelphia. Um, 2018, the Eagles did not have a first round pick because they traded um, with the Ravens and the Ravens eventually took that pick to get Lamar Jackson. So what is the Eagles 2019 num 2018 number one pick doing? I mean, he was an MVP. Lamar Jackson, he just wasn't suiting up for the Philadelphia Eagles. So it was good to see our pick go to good use and it wasn't in the NFC that's good but um yeah shout out to the Ravens for our lucky first round pick you guys got a good one 2019 Andre Dillard was drafted number 22 overall Andre Dillard is a tackle out of Washington State and obviously he's a super young guy so where is he now still in development um he was drafted to take over for Jason Peters uh, when Jason Peters was supposed to retire this past offseason but Jason Peters did not retire and he came back battling injury Andre Dillard 
is spending this whole 2020 season um, on the injured reserve. He battled, he's battling an injury that he faced in the off season. So we're not gonna see anything from Andre Diller in his second year, um, in his rookie year, I was gonna say freshman year, in his rookie year in the league um, in 2019, we did see a lot of potential out of Andre Diller. And we did see a lot of growth from him in the training camp from like his biggest, um, the biggest downside of Andre Diller was his inability to take on the bull rush and also his hand placement. But he did show a lot of development over training camp so we do expect to see a lot of potential out of Andre Dillard he was um, thrown into a couple of games in 2019 when Jason Peters was hurt and he did handle his own for a rookie so we're definitely expecting to see a lot out of this young guy now 2020 our last pick as of late is Jalen Rager a wide receiver out of TCU Jalen Rager was picked number 21 overall by the Philadelphia Eagles. And like I said, we just picked the guy. So where is he now? He is trying to make a name for himself. He has missed a couple of games due to injury um, this 2020 season, but he is definitely showing a lot of flashes of potential to be a very useful guy, especially since um, a lot of um, the veterans, Deshaun Jackson, Alshon Jeffrey, um, wide receivers are hurt. Um, Jalen Rager has had to step in immediately when he has been available and he has definitely been showing super a lot of flashes of potential and we expect to see a lot of great things out of Jalen Rager so guys this is our 2010 to 2020 where are they now number one draft picks with Philadelphia Eagles and I think we did great I mean you couldn't Nelson Aguilar, I mean, that's on Nelson Aguilar. That's not on us at all. So we can't even account his disruptive behavior. Like I said, he did not want to play for us. Um, Marcus Smith and Danny Watkins, those are two guys. We could not have guessed what their situations were going to be when we drafted them. We drafted them out of off of potential. We could never guess that one would want to be a firefighter and one would be battling um, mental health issues. So that is not on the Eagles, but I will say our other seven guys we have been picked, I would get, obviously 70% of the guys um, as of right now we have picked in the last 10 years are destined for greatness. Um, some guys already solidified their greatness in uh, Fletcher Cox and Lane Johnson, but we will definitely see what some of these other guys do. So guys, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you want to see in my next video. Make sure you like it. Make sure you comment. Make sure you're subscribing and keep tuning in with me and keep rocking with me. Thanks. Bye.